हेलो एवरीवन आई एम डॉक्टर उर्वशी शर्मा एसोसिएट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ जर्नलिज्म एंड मास कम्युनिकेशन फ्रॉम जगन्नाथ यूनिवर्सिटी जयपुर मूविंग अहेड विद आर राइटिंग फॉर मीडिया कोर्स दिस सेशन वील बी डिस्कसिंग ए बी सी डी ऑफ मीडिया राइटिंग विच इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वेन एवर वी आर राइटिंग फॉर डिफरेंट मीडिया सो लेट इज बिगिन विद द सेशन ए बी सी डी ऑफ मीडिया राइटिंग The acronym ABCD can be expanded as accuracy, brevity, clarity, and discernment. All these four, accuracy, brevity, clarity, and discernment, form the pillar of media writing. It is important as a media writer that we understand and we incorporate ABCD in our write-ups whenever we are writing for our audience or readers. across the globe so let us begin with a which stands for accuracy accuracy is the first characteristic feature of communication which includes accuracy of information as well as accuracy of expression one must assure one self of the accuracy of information before communicating for example if a person has to write a report or give an oral presentation he or she should repeatedly check all the facts that need to be included in the report or presentation any factual error will put a question mark on the reliability of the report or presentation thereby reducing its effectiveness moreover facts have to be recorded carefully and appropriately accuracy of expression demands that there should be no errors of grammar spelling punctuation or usage one has to be careful about grammar and punctuation mistakes and should review and revise the draft thoroughly for these errors if a person is making a professional oral presentation or taking part in a conversation meeting or discussion he or she should take care of punctuation accent enunciation and non verbal mannerism accuracy is essential for professional and technical communicator accuracy of expression demands precision which is quality of being exact accurate and definite in the use of words phrases sentences and paragraph one must be certain that one is expressing one's ideas precisely and exactly so that the reader or the audience are able to understand without confusion or misunderstanding precision demands on exact knowledge of meaning of words and involves the use of similar familiar and concrete words instead of vague abstract difficult and unfamiliar words clichés and technical jargons points to keep in mind using simple and familiar words some people fancy big words they seem to believe that big and difficult words reflect one's depth of understanding and command of language the truth is just opposite using easy simple and familiar words demand a better understanding and command of language the use of simple and familiar words makes it easier for the reader or listener to understand the message transmitted on the other hand difficult words and phrases are barriers to effective familiar and exact communication a message may not be understood just because the words used to present the information are too difficult for the reader using exact words and phrases the writer must have 
an exact knowledge of meaning of words and phrases and he should avoid using confusing word avoiding difficult words and complex jargon jargon is an integral part of communication but using too much jargon which the audience may not understand will be inappropriate before you use specialized vocabulary and terminology you must try to consider whether your audience has a considerable knowledge of your subject or the ability to understand the technical details that you want to give checklist for achieving accuracy check facts for accuracy of information revise your draft for grammar usage spelling and punctuation errors take care of your pronunciation accent enunciation and no verbal mannerism during oral communication use simple familiar and exact words avoid difficult and unfamiliar words use words carefully with proper discretion avoid using excessive jargons next we come to b which is brevity brevity is the quality of being brief but comprehensive in expression you must try to be as brief as possible and give maximum information in minimum number of words possible Nobody has the time to read or listen to a long dull discourses lengthy documents or speeches and presentations with unnecessary details are boring for the readers or listeners a document can be made brief and concise by avoiding wordiness and repetition avoid repetition Repetition is a recurrent problem in writing and speech of people who fail to consider meaning. You may repeat an idea or a fact because you want to be forceful, but you should always remember that brevity cannot be sacrificed for persuasiveness in technical writing or professional speech. checklist for achieving brevity avoid repetition avoid using wordy phrases and expressions do not include unnecessary details revise your document thoroughly in order to make it concise and last but not lastly avoid exaggeration Next we come to C which stands for clarity. Clarity in communication is the quality of being specific and easily understood. Clarity is achieved when the communicator has communicated his or her meaning to the reader or listener. Technical communication clarity contributes to communicative effectiveness. you will not be able to achieve your communicative objective if you are not clear since clarity is the art of making your meaning clear to your audience it is essential for you to understand your audience before you communicate audience adaptation can only come from proper audience analysis audience analysis involves defining your audience in clarity can be achieved in terms of their background subject competence linguistic competence and by using direct familiarity with the topic or content of your communication a better understanding of your audience will give clarity of thought as we well as clarity of expression clarity involves both clarity of expression as well as clarity of thought 
a secret of clear expression is clear thinking sloppy illogical or complete thinking cause lack of clarity in technical communication the various techniques that you can use to make your expression clear include using direct language using direct language clarity involves the use of direct language there's no scope for roundabout constructions indirect expressions exaggeration artificial eloquence and ornamentation in technical communication specific words and expression as an effective writer one should use concrete words because they tend to be specific narrow and particular readers and audiences respond more predictably to concrete language by using concrete language one can ensure clarity of expression the use of concrete and specific words and phrases bring vividness and clarity on the other hand obscure abstract and vague words and phrases confuse the audience as they do not convey the exact meaning and the speaker may be called upon to repeat a certain phrases or give detailed clarifications checklist for achieving clarity do not use indirect expression use specific words and phrases avoid exaggeration avoid ornamentation and use direct sentences last we have d which stands for discernment it is the quality of being able to grasp and comprehend what is obscure it is an act or process of exhibiting keen insight and good judgment discernment on the other hand is assessing a situation objectively with no emotional attachment to decide appropriateness and right what is appropriate and right for masses a writer must judge the situation and need of the reader before writing any story so here by discernment we mean filtration you as a writer keeping the purpose of your writer and the level of your readers in mind you will decide what will be the tone what all words to include what all words not to include which fact to include which fact to eliminate and then you will write the entire thing so that it satisfies the emo- the informational need of your reader so in this session we have discussed a b c d of media writing which is accuracy brevity clarity and discernment accuracy is very important here what we mean by accuracy is that facts or information whatever is being used in the write up should be correct there should be no incorrectness in these facts and figures and information used this is known as accuracy of facts when we call a talk about accuracy of expression we mean that there has to be an accuracy in terms of spellings grammar and the sentence structure if the the write up lacks accuracy it paints a very wrong picture of the writer in front of it, his or her readers because this will lead to development of say distrust amongst the readers which will hamper the credibility of a writer and the organization then we come to brevity brevity means being brief it means using limited words to say your idea or to talk about your idea because in media space and time means money so you have to be very brief you do not you have to be a uh, very crisp in your expression so that the information which you want or the idea which you want to be uh, which what you want to be conveyed to your readers is conveyed exactly as you want it to so 
if we are not using or following the principle of brevity in media writing then it will not be the clear expression it will not lend same briefness to your writing it will not make your writing concise if the writing is not not concise it will be very long very boring and the whole idea will be lost in the long sentences or the long expressions which you are using to express your idea or a thought then we come to clarity clarity here means being clear in your mind as a writer what you want to convey who are your readers or audiences for this you need to carry out your demographic and psychographic profiling of your readers which means by demography i mean understanding their gender geographical area age group their educational level their income level and by psychographic i mean their attitude because when as a writer you have an idea of who your readers are it will help you to come up with the write up which is much more effective it will also help you to follow the uh, principles of accuracy and brevity in your write up giving it more clarity and it will also help you to understand what are the informational needs of your reader then only you can come up with a piece which is accurate follows the rule of brevity and is also clear in terms of the idea that is being disseminated then we come to last pillar or the last principle which is d that is discernment discernment means judgment so you as a writer need to judge upon what will be the correct say tone of my writing what facts should i include what facts should i not include then how it is basically about filtering your thought so that filtering your ideas that you have developed along along the topic you are writing so that you can exactly select the right angle and develop a write up on it so this was all related to abcd of media writing it is very important that we as a media writer follow the abcd of media writing which is accuracy brevity clarity and discernment in order to design a message which is more effective and message which is easily understood by the readers so as to get the exact response from our receiver that we intend to make as a writer thank you